Well, I really appreciate you asking me to come today and visit with you about our program in West Africa. It really started when I was a little boy. My grandfather came from Italy in 1905 through Ellis Island to work in the coal mines in southeastern Oklahoma. My parents were very active in the church. And of all things, my grandfather was an Assembly of God minister, and we always had missionaries. Most of them had gone to Africa. I was so intrigued, and uh, I was always wondering, where are the pictures? I want to see Africa. In Proverbs 14, he who presses the poor shows contempt for their maker, but whoever is kind to the needy honors God. That really planted a seed in my mind that I'd go to Sierra Leone. We jumped on a plane and came in to Freetown in November of 2002. I was aware of the Civil War in Sierra Leone, but I wasn't aware that it was over. And it was just a shock to my system to see what I saw. The rebels decimated the entire healthcare systems, the schools, the churches, mosques. They tore everything down and people didn't have access to care. In 2001, the maternal mortality rate was the highest in the world. As many as 2,100 women out of 100,000 would die from childbirth. It's thought that one out of every eight ladies would die in childbirth over their lifetime. You traveling to Sierra Leone over 16 years, uh, 46 different times, how many women were you able to treat? Well, we did well over 1,600 obstetrical fish to surgeries, but because of the lack of physicians for obvious reasons from the war and all of that, we've done several hundred other procedures. I was amazed. Even right now, my body is shivering. When I see the work he did, helping all these women was very amazing, you know? So I'm asking Dr. Maji if he can even help do something like this in Kono. I would really, you know, appreciate it because that's where I'm from, you know, and I know it will help most of the women there because that kind of things is not everybody know about. Really touching, you know. Sierra Leone has actually gone through hell and back. The corruption has been something that I've lived through. And when I had the opportunity to come back as the first lady of Sierra Leone, I know that I have a president that has one vision to make Sierra Leone the right model for Africa. It's the best thing probably that ever happened to me in my life, to be able to go to Sierra Leone and see how fortunate we are in the States. You can only be celebrated in Africa if we start taking our own cause and focus and make sure we work for our people. In Africa, your neighbor is like your family. So when you have something good, you want to share with everyone. Why not create something that will benefit not only my country, and all other countries in Africa. You know, one of the things that we're doing with Vibranium Valley is bringing game-changing ideas for the economic growth, tech and innovation. Her Excellency, she has a passion for bringing the first state-of-the-art music and motion picture sound studio to Sierra Leone. With Agua Crypto Utility, it's a really big opportunity for us to affect long-term change mm -hmm. and short-term change. Mm -hmm. It being such an open platform, we see a lot of people being able to win. And I'm hoping that people will come and actually see the beauty of that country. The sky is the limit with what you will do in Sierra Leone.